welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home. In today's video, we're gonna be decorating a beautiful 4th of July tablescape for outdoors. And we're also gonna be decorating my porch for the 4th of July season. I have a couple fun party items that I'm gonna be adding to this space and I would like to share with you guys. So if you guys enjoy the 4th of July and also having a beautiful tablescape outside, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are interested on how I decorated this beautiful table, then keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. And the first step I always love to do is clean the surface. And I love using my Thieves All Natural Cleaner. I love this stuff not only because it's natural, but it also never leaves streaks. I'm gonna start by laying down my tablecloth that I got recently from Amazon. I will leave this in the description box down below. But this is a perfect tablecloth. Not only does it bring that picnic feel, but it also has that patriotic feel. It was super easy to clean and also iron as well. Now you can't have a 4th of July tablescape without stars, so I did this by using these beautiful placemats that I got recently from Home Goods. These placemats are not only great quality, but they're two-sided. The white feel is perfect for future decorating. I could just flip it over and use it in any decor. Now you can make it a casual feel by just adding a plate next, but I really want to step it up a notch. So I'm going to use my galvanized chargers that I've had for Pier 1. I've had these for a while and I just think they're perfect for any type of rustic feel that you want to bring to your tablescape. Now that I have my texture, my depth, I'm going to add a solid color just to make my other patterns stand out. And to do that, I'm going to use a solid white plate from Home Goods. I really wanted to carry on that navy throughout my tablescape, so when I saw these beautiful blue floral plates from Home Goods, I knew I had to take them home with me. To carry on a different pattern and also that navy color, I saw these wine glasses from Home Goods. I love that they're plastic because not only that they will be durable, but it also brings more of a casual feel to this tablescape. We are missing that perfect patriotic red, and to do that, I'm going to add these gorgeous napkin ring holders from Home Goods. Aren't they beautiful? They have the perfect amount of sparkle with these beads. To make your napkins look effortless, you're just simply going to have them lay flat, pinch the middle, pull up, and then add your napkin ring holder. These napkins are from Amazon. I will also have those in the description box down below as well. For my silverware, I wanted to mix metals, and I decided to use my Pier 1 Copper Hammer Silverware set. Unfortunately, they do not carry it anymore, but I found something very similar through Amazon. I will leave it in the description box down below. Make your own centerpieces by just using some grocery store flowers. They're perfect and expensive, and it brings that beautiful garden look to your table. I don't know about you guys, but something about a summer dessert is perfect for any type of tablescape outside. So I'm going to use this cake stand from Home Goods. I love that it's whitewashed, so it'll bring that rustic flair to my tablescape. I had some extra baby's breath laying around from that centerpiece that I made from the grocery store and I decided to put it in a blue mason jar with a good old-fashioned American flag and I think it is perfect to this space. It brings that patriotic feel but not overly done and it has that farmhouse look on top of it as well. Now that we have our tablescape pretty much almost done, I wanted to take a break and add some patriotic fun flair to this patio. And I wanted to decorate this fence. And to do that, I saw these hanging paper fans from Amazon. I will leave them in the description box down below. These are so cool. Not only are they inexpensive, but they were easy to put together as well. I decided the easiest way to put up these fans were to have them in groups of two and three and create a wave-like pattern and fill in the spaces with the tiny little fans. 
I ended up securing it with some thumbtacks. They were clear so you could hardly see any of them and it was just super easy and fun and you get to be a little bit creative with the pattern and texture. I'm going to go ahead and carry on these patriotic feels throughout my patio by adding some fun decor in my linens on my patio. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spruce up my patio just to get it really nice and clean and cute for 4th of July. And an easy and expensive way to decorate your patio, of course, is lots of pillows. Uh, just like my couch inside, I like to be cozy outside. This little bench is a hand-me-down from my mother-in-law. It used to be yellow and I painted it a green color. It is Rustoleum Pistachio. It is the most beautiful vintage green. And these pillows I have from my Amazon link. I will go ahead and leave them in the description box down below. But I went ahead and purchased some more pillow covers that are 4th of July inspired. And they came in a pack of four. Here's the first one. And I like this one because it has like the geraniums and then also the pink that kind of ties in with my baby quilt. So here are the other three that came in that pack and this is adorable with the book and also the different types of pillows on this and of course carrying on the geraniums and also the birds. This is one of my favorite uh, pillow cases that I've ever purchased for 4th of July. This one is also adorable as well with the little red bicycle. It just screams like that summer vibe. I love it. And then this is the last one that came in that set. It says happy spring and I I think I will definitely use this out in my patio for spring of next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this little area over here in the corner just to kind of tie it up. So let's just go ahead and put these together and see how it turns out in this space. As I get my pillows ready, I did want to mention to you guys, I ordered this adorable burlap star banner from Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it in the description box down below. It didn't make it in time for this video, but I still wanted to share with you guys just because I think it's so perfect. It still brings that patriotic flair, but it doesn't say 4th of July. So I think it would be perfect to use for Memorial Day weekend as well. Now the final step in getting this porch ready for 4th of July is I'm gonna put some American flags, just sprinkle them all around my porch. Do you guys decorate with American flags? Please comment down below, let me know. Now that the patio is set, let's finish up our tablescape. And this dessert is wonderful. It is so delicious. I got it from Gelson's. It's one of my favorite places to shop for desserts. I know it's a grocery store, but sometimes I feel like I'm in this fancy boutique grocery store. It's so yummy. And of course you can't have dessert without lemonade. And this adorable picture is from my sweet friend Jenny at 700 N Cottage. Thank you so much, Jen. I absolutely love it.
Okay, friends, that's it for today's video. I hope I inspired you guys on decorating your tablescape this year for 4th of July season. If you guys have any questions on any of the items that I used in today's video, please comment down below, or you can even visit me on my Instagram page at My Simple Valley Home. Until next time, friends, you have a happy 4th of July. Thank you again so much for stopping by. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!